Hi, I'm Elliot Harper, Principal Architect at Eteco, and welcome to my Salesforce Data Cloud Deep Dive series. In this first episode, I'll explore unstructured data lake objects in Data Cloud, what they are, how they work, and why they matter. Let's start with a quick refresher. Structured data lives in tables with rows and columns. Structured data is easy to search with SQL and works well when every record follows a consistent format, like customer records, transactions, or service cases. But not all data fits neatly into tables. You see, unstructured data lacks a predefined schema. Think PDFs, chat transcripts, images, audio recordings, or legal contracts. These don't conform to a tabular format, which makes them difficult to work with in relational databases. That's where large language models, or LLMs, come into play. They're incredibly powerful at interpreting unstructured content and extracting insights. Data Cloud supports both structured and unstructured data. It enables you to connect, store, index, and semantically retrieve unstructured content unlocking use cases across Agent Force, Flow Builder, Tableau, and CRM analytics. These include prompt-based interactions, real-time analytics, and generative AI search. So what exactly are unstructured data lake objects, and where do they fit in? Unstructured data lake objects, or UDLOs, are a key component of Data Cloud's vector database architecture. Well, traditional data lake objects, or DLOs, store structured data, UDLOs manage metadata for unstructured files stored externally. That's right. Unlike DLOs, which store ingested data, these files don't live inside Data Cloud. Instead, they reside in external cloud storage platforms like Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, or Azure Blob Storage. Another major difference is that DLOs require manual mapping to data model objects, or DMOs. UDLOs, on the other hand, are automatically mapped to unstructured data model objects, or UDMOs. And these UDMOs don't physically store the data. They provide a logical view of the metadata, enabling indexing and semantic search. It's also worth noting that unstructured content doesn't always reside in a UDLO. A DLO might contain long-form fields, like a, a call transcript or perhaps an article body, which can also be indexed. So both UDLOs and DLOs can support unstructured data, and both can feed into vector search and retrieval. Well, I hope you now have a foundational understanding of UDLOs and their role in Data Cloud. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out my next episode where I'll explain how unstructured data is processed and indexed for retrieval. Thanks for watching.